they finally <clears throat> translated uh, the Nanatsu no Taisai chapter of 217. And I am the Angry Enemy Fan, the Despair Reviewer. It is confirmed that Barat, Barata Leones did indeed still carry Gother's heart. Maybe not with him, but I have always wondered what happened to the heart when Gother discarded it. It wouldn't surprise me if Barta had, uh, well, not taken it, but kept it. And indeed he did, somewhere. Either way, the sins uh, are united with Diana have been returning. with, uh, And of course they react pretty um, strange when they... Uh, a bit of fear when they see um, that uh, Diana, I mean, when they see the Meliodas revived. Oh yeah, and Barta is in the background trying to be dramatic, but of course the others ignore him. So, uh, and of course King says he's sorry and both and both uh, Meliodas and Ban sees he has beginning to grow wings, but of course they tease him that he still hasn't grown big. And um, Diana reveals his me her memories. Damn, what's with my head today? Have returned. Of course, Gother says that should technically have been impossible. But she begins to tell that she was sent for the past 3,000 years ago. And there, the Gother of that time returned her memories. So, um, Diana has a promise in order to recover uh, Gother's lost heart. And according to, but according to Merlin, that technique that they used, uh, I thought it was strange that Gluxnia had the power to use that technique. But apparently it's a technique that only was teached by the Goddess clan, which probably meant that they must have taught him that when he was still in Stigma. And so Orion uh, Barta makes his entrance. Of course Meliodas teases him, how long have you been there? And shows the heart. But Gother immediately runs away from the heart. So, um, and he, as he gives cryptic hint, is that a long time ago in the past, this was in his chest, a magic heart that was carrying himself. And we all know that we finally saw it past after all, when Bartha was just a little boy. But then uh, they need to get, a, they need to do something with Gother. So, finally. Meliodas says a new rule of the seven deadly sins. Apparently there are supposed to be seven rules, am I right? We haven't heard a new rule except in the anime only four episode special, but apparently uh, the fourth rule of the seven deadly sins is if a friend is in a crisis, everybody needs to use all their powers to help. I find it so strange that in one time Meliodas says that their best teamwork is in that they don't have any teamwork, and yet they still want to protect their friends. I mean, their friends, yes, not so much teams works. Oh yeah, it's worth noting that the uh, king uh, is carrying Diana after Diana asked Marilyn to shrink her so she will be easier to move around. And here comes an even, even stranger part. For the first time ever, Meliodas actually tells something. That is so unlike Meliodas. No, usually it's the guy and the guy that never reveals any of his past, present, or future. But for the first time ever, he actually talks to uh, Ban on who Goth really was, because he knew all along. And he uh, even knew his uh, real alter ego. Well done. He was the leader of the Ten Commandments. I find it very strange that uh, Meliodas finally decided to be a little bit truthful, but then again, most of the truth had been heard by their ears, and Meliodas did come back wrong, so... I have a feeling that uh, he cannot keep any secret he can nowadays. It, apparently the wizard um, Gother was recognized by the Demon King and was also, uh, well, uh, chosen as the selflessness. But um, some... But Gother embraced that in order... Uh, then Meliodas has some cr creepy line like, by embracing the role of selflessness, all your memories and feelings are taken away. But Gother denied that, so um, he was thrown into the prism. What does that mean? Does that mean he um, he committed the sin of the... Does that mean he committed the sin of the selflessness, or does that mean something else? Uh, I don't know. Oh yeah, it's worth noting that they passed a guy, guy who's having apples and Ban steals a stolen apple. 
So he created God the Doll Gother in order to be his alter ego, and it's revealed that the reason why God the Doll Gother looks so feminine is because she actually modeled the face of the God Doll Gother after a loved one. But in order to not have any sexual desire towards that uh, doll, he gave him a man's body. Basically, a female's face, a man's body. So, um, they all need to find him. Uh, but Gopher disguised himself, still very confused about all this. All this time he wanted to have a heart, but at the same time he doesn't understand why he did run away from a heart. What is he? What is he? As small memories get to his head, he realizes he doesn't want to remember that and tries to erase his own memories before he's being stopped by Diana in a pretty comical kick. So please, please do not erase Diana's memories again. It's just gonna be so repetitive and it's gonna be too much despair. So please do not do that. The fact that next chapter is called We Will Meet Again is only hinting towards an even deeper despair for me. But who knows? The heart is already there, but Gopher is not accepting it. So we will meet again. What does that mean? Is that meant to say goodbye? The sins are saying goodbye to Leonis in order to head out to uh, Camelot in order to defeat the remaining of the Ten Commandments? Or is that meant to say that Gother is saying goodbye? Who knows? But the heart is there. Gother just needs to accept it. But he threw it away because he didn't want to remember the pain of losing the one woman he fell in love with. Which I find very strange. But, um, I mean, it's not strange that he rejected it. I felt it's very strange that Gother actually fell in love with a girl. But, um, yeah, that's basically the chapter. All in all, he has some... Uh, comical moments and some answers, so that's good. Other than that, nothing really special. Give me your thoughts if you have any.